In addition to welcoming back most of the familiar faces of the series, the new season of Stranger Things will introduce a few newcomers, from an intriguing lifeguard to an ambitious politician. But even if they're new to Hawkins, some of these actors just might look familiar. There's no doubt that Carrie Elwes' credentials precede his arrival as Mayor Larry Klein in Stranger Things 3. But what's hard to pinpoint is exactly which role he's most famous for. Fantasy fans probably know him best as the romantic swordsman Wesley in The Princess Bride, or perhaps the title role in Robin Hood Men in Tights. For horror fans, though, it's more likely that his turns as Lord Arthur Holmwood in Bram Stoker's Dracula or Dr. Lawrence Gordon in Saw left the biggest marks. Meanwhile, others might remember Elwes more as antagonist Russ Wheeler in Days of Thunder or as a cocky tornado scientist in Twister. He may even be familiar to TV fans for his appearances in series like The X-Files or Psych, to name a few. No matter what he's best known for, he definitely comes into Stranger Things as the most veteran newcomer of the bunch. Things are just starting to heat up for Maya Hawke's career as she joins Stranger Things as the ice cream slinging Robin, but she's been a part of show business her entire life. She's the oldest child of Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman, and was born shortly after her folks met on the set of 1997's Gattaca. She was raised away from the limelight, but even at a young age, she still dove right into local theatrical productions, and is now following in her parents' footsteps by pursuing an acting career. Hawke made her on-screen debut in the PBS miniseries adaptation of Little Women as Joe March, who refuses to conform to the gender expectations of her era. Soon after, she appeared in the indie thriller Lady World. Her post-Stranger Things resume is already set to make her even more recognizable. The buzziest of her upcoming projects is probably Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Like Maya Hawke, Jake Busey is an heir to a Hollywood legacy who bears a striking resemblance to his famous parent. He's the son of the inimitable Gary Busey and has the same white blonde hair and toothy grin as his father. In addition to their similar appearances, a look at his filmography reveals that Busey also seems to share his dad's penchant for action-oriented movies and TV shows. The younger Busey's career began in 1978 when he appeared alongside his father in the film Straight Time. His credits really started to build up in the 90s in the likes of Contact and Starship Troopers. More recently, he showed up in 2018's The Predator and has guest starred on shows like Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ultimately, it was his turn as a psychotic serial killer in 1996's The Frighteners that got the attention of the Duffer brothers and inspired them to write the role of Bruce, a newspaper journalist with loose morals and a sick sense of humor. Oh, Patricia, you kill her. I'll watch. Before becoming new lifeguard Heather in Stranger Things 3, Francesca Reale had already made a name for herself on another Netflix original. In the sitcom Haters Back Off, she starred as Emily, the very normal sister of the very abnormal Miranda Sings. What is a bag of salami? Emily, you know what a bag of salami is. Don't play dumb, we all know what a bag of salami is. Apart from that series and a guest spot in a 2016 episode of Blue Bloods, Reality's still very much an actress who's in the midst of breaking through. Like many up-and-comers, she's been steadily establishing a reel with appearances in short films with names like The Furies of War, Goodbye Charm City, and Cabin. She could also be seen sharing the screen with Stranger Things co-star Natalia Dyer in the 2019 teen drama Yes God Yes. She might be new to the biz, but Caroline Arapoglu is quickly rising through the ranks of TV stars ahead of her appearance as Winnie in Stranger Things 3. She got her start with bit roles on shows like Atlanta and films like Hot Summer Nights. She later nabbed a recurring role as lab tech Noni Turner on The Resident. Arapoglu also appeared in one episode of The Walking Dead's ninth season as zombie apocalypse survivor Rose. After Stranger Things, she'll continue to work on Netflix on the drama series Outer Banks, and she's also busy cultivating her career in live theater. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.